All right, I made a video of how to build a flex fuel kit, but I'm gonna go over it again because I might that video was a little bit too long. So it's very easy. I'm gonna go through it really quick. Okay, so the things we need, I'm gonna put in the link in the links in the description below for those. First thing, you need a module, right? This is a converter that converts the signal from uh, digital to analog for the car ECU to understand. So you buy this, it's about $99 at the time I bought it. Second thing you need is let's see, an ethanol sensor, right? So this is your ethanol sensor. And this is uh, a continental ethanol sensor. It's about $80 at the time I bought it. So you need the ethanol sensor, you need the fuel hoses, and I'm also going to link the fuel hose below. This is a 516 fuel hose, and fuel, fuel hose connectors. Everything is going to be in the link, okay? So you all have to do is insert the connector, uh, one elbow connector, and one straight connector. This is going to go to the steel rail on your car, the straight one, and the elbow one is going to go on the ethanol sensor okay so this is going to be on the ethanol sensor now once you got the fuel lines and you made them uh, it's 17 inches and 18 inches one long one one short one you could make both 18 inches it's, it's all totally okay no, no an issue an extra inch of holes okay so things are falling out of my hands because I have a lot of wires hanging so let's let's put this everything here okay so let's take a look so the ethanol sensor and the fuel hoses, it just simple click, okay, just clicks, once you put the quick connectors, and now it's connected, okay, we'll set this aside, now, the wiring, which is the complicated part, alright, let's take a look, so, and I have a map for it, I'm gonna probably link it below in the description, we have, um, Starting with the ethanol sensor, okay? So this plug is gonna go into the ethanol sensors. There's three cables coming out of it. Red, black, and white. Red for positive, black for ground, and white for signal, okay? <clears throat> the red, the red coming from ethanol sensor, and the black coming from the ethanol sensor are going to go to the O2 number 1 and number 2 plugs, okay? The O2 receptacle, okay? There's numbers on the back and you're gonna get the red and the black. The red is going to go to number 2 and the black is going to go to number 4, okay? The black is ground and the red is positive. So we're basically <coughs> pulling power from the ethanol, from the O2, rear O2 sensor to the ethanol sensor, okay? Same thing with the module, okay? So here's our module, this is the what's gonna convert the signal, let me put this down. On the module, your red wire is gonna go to the oxygen, oxygen sensor receptacle, the red wire is gonna go to number two, Okay, and the black wire, and pay attention, is going to go to the TGV. This is going to be grounded on the TGV. The black wire is going to go to plug number, pin number two on the TGV receptacle. From the module to the TGV receptacle, black wire going to go to number two on the TGV receptacle, okay? yellow wire is going from the the yellow wire is going from the uh, uh, module to plug number one on the TGV receptacle okay so from the module let me remove this other way module yellow wire signal to number one on the TV, TGV receptacle. Now, there's, this is a little bit confusing, okay? No, now, number, there's also a white wire coming out of, it says, uh, input, okay? This input is 
gonna come from the ethanol sensor to the module again I have a drawing that shows you everything it's kind of like cartoonish but it'll, it'll, it'll do Y wire is gonna go come from the ethanol sensor plug white wire to the module okay so now we wire the module black to the TGV receptacle red to the O2 sensor num uh, pin number 2 and white comes from the ethanol sensor and then the yellow goes to the TGV receptacle on plug number 1 okay plug number 1 the yellow to number 1 on TGV receptacle okay and the ground the black TGV receptacle too okay so we wired the ethanol sensor we wired the the uh, module now the O2 sensor we already talked about number two and number four on the receptacle on the plug the rear O2 sensor plug number two and number four are positive and ground and we're already pos pulling positive and ground for the ethanol sensor right but now we're gonna connect plug number one and three to one and three here so one two three four here are gonna plug into one two three four here to connect to the oxygen rear oxygen sensor and two and four from you know it's the same connection two and four are going to pull from uh, to the red and black that are coming from the ethanol sensor and the red wire is gonna connect to the red wire from the module okay it it sounds kind of complicated but it's really not it's just a lot of wiring okay so and I'm gonna have a, a, a drawing for it okay once this is complete this will plug you are gonna unplug your rear O2 sensor plug this in to the um, this is gonna go plug into the rear O2 sensor sorry this is gonna plug in into yes into your rear O2 sensor um, yeah rear O2 sensor and this one is gonna plug into your car that's gonna go to the ECU this one is gonna plug into your uh, TGV plug that goes to the car and if you have a TGVs are still there and not cancelled the bottom two wires on this plug are gonna go to this one that's gonna plug into your TGV motor but now the guy I'm building this kit for doesn't have a TGV he has a TGV delete so we're not gonna need this one this is the only one that's gonna plug into the car's outlet that goes to the ECU from normally from the TGV okay once you plug those in you plug this to your ethanol sensor and then you hook up the hoses on your return line that goes to your you know, fuel pressure regulator okay okay now a lot of wiring it's a lot of harnesses but uh, it's it's I made it a little bit extra long just in case okay so this is how it is and we could try to I can show you how the fuel rails are gonna go okay so the way you mount it is up to you right it doesn't have a mount you gonna sticky mount it or mount it but as you can see the fuel rails over here the bottom fuel rail is which is this one I'm gonna put my hand on it in a second this one this fuel rail is the return okay this one is gonna go to your ethanol sensor which would be this plug uh, sorry the other one that has the attachment so this this one the straight one is gonna go to your return line down here which I already have one and the other one this one with the clamp is gonna go to your fuel pressure regulator if you have fuel pressure regulator like this one or some other fuel issue I hope this was helpful it's a little bit <laughs> it's my first video doing a how to so I hope you like it I hope it was helpful I'll put the links below for everything you need to buy and I will put the diagram so hopefully you could follow through thank you so much if you have questions please just leave them in the comments and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can thank you